In this session, I'm going to explain the meaning of terms artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, and how they are similar and what are the differences between them. So if we look at the Google definition of intelligence, it says it is the ability to acquire and apply knowledge and skills. And this ability includes ability of humans to memorize facts, understand them, analyze them, and reason about them, reach a conclusion, devise an action plan, and execute that action plan. And humans naturally possess this ability, and machines or computers do not. So artificial intelligence is an attempt to impart these abilities to machines or computers. So artificial intelligence becomes intelligence demonstrated by machines or computers or in other words we can say machines demonstrating human-like ability to acquire and apply knowledge and skills is called artificial intelligence and it is also called machine intelligence. Next is machine learning. Machine learning is application of artificial intelligence where the machine or the computer can learn and improve from experience and these experiences consist of examples or data. So in particular, machine learning models or algorithms or programs do not need explicit programming. Rather, these models have free parameters and the number of free parameters can go up to thousands or millions. And these free parameters are determined using examples or data. And there are several machine learning models or techniques that can be used depending upon the nature of the problem that we want to solve and the type of data available. So what is our machine in machine learning? The machine is nothing but a computer or a computer program or an algorithm. And what do we mean by learning in machine learning? Learning basically means determining or estimating values of the free parameters in machine learning models using the given data. And these parameters can be updated in several ways. One way is to use all the data at once to update the parameters or we can use small subsets of the data in batches. And this is also called batch learning. And we can also use each individual data point at a time to update our parameters. And such methods are also called stochastic learning methods. Now, when do we have to use machine learning? Means when do our other artificial intelligence algorithms fail? So we have to use machine learning for the tasks that are too complex to write explicit program or where we want the program to adapt itself or its behavior based on the environment or the data. And some examples of the tasks that cannot be accomplished without machine learning at the desired level of accuracy for critical applications are handwriting recognition, natural language processing, speech recognition, image and video analysis like object detection, image segmentation. So next we move to deep learning. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning in the field of artificial intelligence that uses a particular type of algorithm and that is deep neural networks for learning from data. A neural network is a graph consisting of nodes and connections and a deep neural network is the one that has large number of layers. Different people have different definition about what is the minimum number of layers, but that is not that important because most modern deep neural networks have very large number of layers that can go up to hundreds or thousands. For example, one of the popular deep neural network is LXNet, which won 2012 ImageNet challenge. It is basically a convolutional neural network with five convolutional layers and three fully connected layers and there are some max pooling layers in between also and this LXNet had about 60 million free parameters that were learned using data set consisting of 1.2 million images. So training such large deep networks require huge computational resources. 
So there are three important developments that led to big bang of artificial intelligence, machine learning or deep learning and they are development of deep networks, development of high speed computing devices and availability of big data. So we can say that the exponential growth in the field of artificial intelligence is result of our ability to train the deep networks with millions of free parameters using gigabyte to terabytes of data on extremely high speed computing devices. There are many types of deep networks like convolutional neural networks, generative adversarial networks, transformers, that is encoder and decoder networks. And in high speed computing, the important developments are development of GPU, that is graphical processing unit and TPU, that is tensor processing unit. And big data is available because of social media, sensors, cameras and IoT devices.